I got the newsletter and the confirmation of Lusave's day, my volunteering kind of rotor type thing. Two weeks went by so quickly and then it was off to Lou. <laughs> yes! This was on Thursday the 20th of September and I went to the hotel of Le Papa, which means in modern English, modern English, I just stayed I just stayed with my dad, <laughs> so yeah. Then there was Thursday. Thursday night. Oh no, 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 there was a thunderstorm. There was a hurricane. Here it is. I did try and do a live stream then. Um yeah, have a look. That's a Lou in the very, very, very cold and wet. Oh, oh look, oh look, oh no, don't look at that. Look, there's a sign. We've got to the right place. Wow. Into a very, very, very cold and windy loo. The, uh, the party tonight has been cancelled because it is raining cats and dogs out here. Yes, this is what I have to suffer from these lovely, lovely people. Um, there. Off the first act, it was literally cancelled. The there was meant to be three acts that night, and literally they cancelled it. Um, and I did actually see volunteers sweeping all the water off the stage. Then Friday. Oh my God! So much different. If in twenty four hours you could have hurricane. And bright sunny day, this was it. Day was much milder after the storm. He, I, I did some volunteering in the evening. Um, I think I did five till, I think I did five till 11. Oh yes, five till 11 was on the bridge. And here was the shot. Here is, the, here is my famous, famous shot of me being famous for five minutes. <laughs> Time, all right? Don't forget, buy the CDs. And don't forget, I've got radio show every Sunday, BBC, tune in, Play it. check it out. Oh. Everybody join in with the haze. Hey! Come on. Hey! Come on, you sound wicked, come on.
the volunteers, they had a Skellington staff volunteers um, on Saturday, but we were told, all the rest of us were told, right, stand down, it's too windy, too thing. We're on the Skelling the Skellington staff are on standby. So yeah, just they're on standby. If it all goes to plan, someone will will call us and yes, it will be up and running again. But um it didn't really happen until about I'd say about three. So they were they were just waiting for the call basically. I was told I wasn't needed and this made me happy because I found out there was the BBC comedy um, in the church the BBC comedy tent in the church there wasn't a tent in the church no it was just um, like a, a stage in the church up where the vicar usually speaks so that was good um, but I was sad also because so many people had put so much into this weekend and so many people had, you know, put a, a hell of a lot of work into it and now it was all kind of cancelled because of bloody weather. Not good. So, off I went to watch a comedy. But before I say that, um... While they were on standby, the volunteers who were the Skellington staff, some, they halved them up, put some in the pub and put some of the BBC comedy tent. And it was funny. It was very funny. So this guy was the best of the two acts I saw. He is fantastic. He's a local comedian, um, local comedian, and he's from the West Country and he was just very very funny and I watched two acts and he was the best one so here's a little clip of him he he was really really good and I really really enjoyed his act for an we had to make our own fight growing up we had to we're not proud of it we had to get drunk push over cows see if they could stand up again we had to do the best make the best of it. sorry Tony when it happens we had to put my car on a soda on a chip feed it to a seagull see if it explodes that's what we had to do now <laughs> amazing and I hope I hope he makes it onto um, the big television programmes, but he was really, really good. The second one, not so much so. I was felt so sorry for him though, but because in the in right in the middle of his act, right in the middle, it's not on not on the video, it's not on the edit bits, but right in the middle of his his act, um, the the head volunteer organiser got a message on her phone and literally looked around did all the thumbs up and half there was two sides of the church and then half the people on my side of the church got up and they were like bye 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 we'll see you later we'll see you later and I just felt so sorry for him I just thought you know really poor man but he knew we they all had uh high-vis jackets and stuff and yeah they were going back to work basically um so yeah i saw them on the bridge later and yeah it was it's okay it was okay nearly got blown off the bridge mm. anyway so watch some amazing music at that night here they are here they are yes Sunday I volunteered again and was collecting donations in the main stage area here it is it's on Cornwall Cornish live or Cornwall live here here is the picture anyway by this time I was very tired 
but I saw this band I I didn't really see any other bands but I did see one band on the Sunday and it was really good and they're called the normals and oof, really really good I really enjoy watching their stuff every year so yeah and here here they are here we come to my Day. and yeah they need basically they had lots of volunteers for the weekend but they for, everybody forgets that people drop litter pe you know they need to organize stuff for the, on the Monday afterwards always always so on the Monday I put my name down on the Sunday and on the Monday I went and I um, cleared basically I cleared the car park or the main step I clear the car park or the main stage area the main stage area of litter and rubbish while listening to a podcast okay so today you can see that it's not at all windy <laughs> right um so that was quite good and I got to talk to like various people that I'd um, got acquainted with over the weekends and some people that I knew anyway so that was my loo experience and what I experienced at loo saves the day music festival 2018 I enjoyed volunteering and meeting new people and helping the people and the tourists and visitors asking I hear you asking I am hearing you asking is the festival is there a festival for 2019 or 2019 well we simply don't know we honestly don't know I don't know um, they're keeping a very tight lid on it um, there's a community meeting on the 26th of October. Today is the 10th of October, so we're just waiting for that really. Um, there is, there is basically, um, I got a text message yesterday saying they've got a thank you party for all the volunteers and that's hap happening around the same time. And I can't go because I'm 200 miles away. But it's fantastic that they thought, why not have a um, a donated party? Um, amazing. They are, you know, that is really lovely to give the volunteers a party. Anyway, all I can say, I am not anyone. I am not anyone, I'm just a Londoner who goes and helps and volunteers at various different places. I am not anyone, but well done to the councillors of Lou. They organised it and they organised us volunteers. They organised us volunteers. They fed us, they watered us just before our duties. 
um yeah thank you very much for for putting it on and here fingers crossed and here fingers crossed for the next one and for an event for 2019 and I would say I think it went really well and this was how to turn a negative into a positive. <laughs>